So hello and welcome to the third season of the Cyclist Amateur Tactics and our team of cycling enthusiasts is now down to two, at least uh, to two who actually take part in the races. Uh, we have made some nice progress in the past season, so let's see whether uh, our two folks can keep the upward at trajectory and let's see how they're doing this time. So last time we had an excellent place at the end of the uh, Wilder Road Tour. Uh, we didn't finish that great on any of the three stages, um, but we managed to uh, not screw up anywhere either, uh, as opposed to many others, and that's why we ended up quite highly. So let's see whether we can uh, repeat this feat at the Road to the Vabeskov, and that's probably aided by Vladislav being on his minor fitness peak. And the overall profile, especially after the first stage, isn't too terrible either, maybe with the exception of the final climb on the third stage. So I suspect here is where Vladislav, uh, uh, a recovery too, due to the fitness peak, will certainly come in handy. So here we are. Not that much competition in terms of numbers. And we actually ranked the second highest in terms of prestige, but the others have some decent riders, so uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. So a short climb at the start, but then a downhill. Uh, I'm not sure whether they will just jump to the beginning of the downhill, so I'm simply moving back. Yeah, as expected. Um, so having the slipstream is certainly welcome. But this is going to be the toughest of the three stages. I will stay tucked behind everyone for the first two climbs and then probably get out in time for the final one. We have two SKPs going. But they're not too far ahead, so it might actually... Nah, the peloton doesn't want to catch them just now. But it will be something that will keep them on their toes. But in any case, let's see whether they are still there after the first two small climbs, which look a bit too large to be jumpable. That's a very interesting profile here. How do my riders actually look? So that is left in generally better shape, slightly better shape compared to Maxim uh, due to his minor fitness peak, although uh, Maxim is still faster. And the peloton is certainly not overexerting themselves. Um, I'm not going forward because I have no idea who will actually be the lead rider effectively. Although probably Vladislav might be since he's on recovery two. At the same time, Maxim had done pretty well on recovery one in the even more challenging Vodaron tour. So. Any of the two is fine, and I'm not making the decision now by uh, putting someone on le uh, pulling duty. Okay, first climb right into the middle, but both can follow easily, and we have ample attack points. SKPs of breaking apart already, although I suspect both will be back at the bottom of the next climb. Yes, they will.
this is? This is jumpable because it's f coming from a downhill, so that's nice. Do I want to come forward already? It wasn't the most taxing jump. How far is this? So it starts at 70 to go and I'll come out at 120 to go. No, it's fine. And it's an obvious move. And not even too taxing. So since this, this is a downhill, um, when I want to move forward, nope, next one. Because it's not technical, so I'm getting full slip, slipstream. And I'll put both forward. Yeah, Peloton. Still taking it easy. So the next jump will be the bottom of the climb. So I can stay here for the time being. Because it doesn't make any sense to jump into this steep climb. So a little bit of extra energy saved. And now coming. I'm moving both to the front. And let's see what the Peloton is doing. So they're power blocking. That's still a pretty healthy move. Okay, now the race is on. And I have... No idea still who might be better off. So this is probably obvious too. The end of the downhill. Yep. Same for both. So let's compare. So that's 15. And that's also 15. The other has a few more attack points and maxim, uh, a few more energy points and maximum a few more attack points, so it's a wash. So probably then still Vladislav, because uh, he will be in better shape tomorrow, whereas Maxim probably won't after this. So Maxim leads Vladislav is the right order. Okay, Peloton is overtaking one SKP and I'm following along with both. So the next one is the finish. So everyone has... This one, this trap is empty. Christian looks good. So these all look fine. So... Maxim can stay where he is, and Vladislav goes on Christian's wheel. So one SKP won that. And... So this is a mass sprint. And I'm going to sprint with Vladislav. I have the recovery. And Maxim is simply follow along and staying there. So, second for Vladislav, fifth for Maxim. That's a very promising opening on the a uh, tougher stage. How does the recovery look for both? Interesting. Maxim has gotten more attack points back and Vladislav... 
squares. Well, it has now more attack points than Vladislav. Uh, so, so, um, Vladislav recovered more, 13, uh, compared to 12. And Maxim has less energy. I think that could be the, the more deciding factor. So um, it was then probably the right thing to put uh, the emphasis on Vladislav. So next stage, basically flat, one small climb that probably doesn't matter. And I think the overall low number of teams help us helps us uh, being not lost in the field. So unfortunately, this is where the audio for the rest of the recording is, uh, isn't really usable. So what I'll do instead is show just the results of each stage. So as you've seen, the results were, I think, mostly okay for our two friends. And in the next episode, we are going to have the final race of the season, the Arrow of Timur, and then do the season wrap up and start the next season.